Hello, my name is Eduardo and today I have a very nice tutorial about multiple screens, okay, how to pass values. But today we will be using um, the tiny DB, okay, so this is a different approach. This is not like in the previous videos, okay, it is very simple, so we will be using here the tiny DB. The app, it's really simple, okay, so we have to pass the name and the age that are in uh, text boxes, okay, and also I will be using uh, here a uh, list picker, okay, with some names of colors, okay, to pass these values to the screen number two, okay, to change the background color. So, well, first I will set everything, okay, for this. So the idea here is that I don't want to enable the button that it's going to pass the values until we have the text box, the text boxes with the information, okay, so I mean, so we won't pass to the next screen until the user uh, has um, inserted their name and age okay so and also um, when they select uh, when they write their name and age so the list picker will be uh, enabled and when the list picker it is uh, has the color selected so automatically the next uh, button will be enabled so this is just to avoid to pass to the next screens without a uh, values uh, in the name or in the age okay then here i will be using here the next button to store the values that we will be using in the next screen okay so he, here you have to use a tag for example the tag that i'm going to create it's for the name first that it will be like your name so here this is the tag and the value for this tag will be the text in the text box number one so we just go to the text box and we select the text that is in the text in the in the name text box one okay also we do the same for the other values so we change or create a different tag in this case is your age and we or obviously we have to use it from the name text box number two okay and for the color we will be using something similar so we create another one another tag your color and in the color here we are going to store the value they selected in the list picker obviously here is just a written text so but in the other screen i will be yeah by using some conditionals to uh, change the color well i guess this is all in this screen so the selection is the one that we will be using here so remember so the names when you complete the name and the age the list picker will be active then if you select in the list picker the next button will be active in the app i guess this is uh, that's all in this screen so we have to go to the screen number two just to receive the values from the tiny db so the tiny db i guess said it's very useful um, but this is another use for this thing for this component well let me uh, create here a procedure to close uh, to close this screen and open the other screen so if it is the next button if true okay when we click the button if we click the button so we want okay to open another screen and that is of course screen number two but first we set the values okay okay so we write the name screen number two and then we want to close this screen after we open the other one we close this to avoid to have lots of screens open and that's it pretty much I think so I guess we have to go to screen number two but we don't have it we have to create it so this is very very easy we have here so we need some labels 
some labels just to have the here the description and and other labels just to have uh, to receive the values here your name is okay we change this oh, i will do it this very fast okay so this is just the labels i'm going to receive the names and the age okay and the screen it will change its color okay but the color the user uh, selected in the previous screen what i just write here some default values so we go here to initialize and also we have to um, well you have to create the tiny db but remember if you created the tiny db in the first screen okay so you can it is the same tiny db so just you have to create it here in the designer what well, let's start with the blocks for this so when the screen initializes we want to load this value that is stored in the tiny db so we need to tell uh, which value of course using the tag for example the name value it's for the name of the user so if we don't have anything that is empty we just uh, send this value but don't worry for that so the tag that we want is let's go to the screen number one to check it so the tag is your name so this is the value that the user Road. so we write here your name so and it will uh, retrieve the value this value later we do the same for the age okay so the text so we want to set the text from the tiny db but with a different tag the value that is in the tiny db with the tag your age okay we check it here in screen number one it has to be the same name that you used in the previous screen, okay? To avoid mistakes. So because it is case sensitive. Yes, so your age. And then we go here. And we are going to create something for the color, okay? Because it's, remember that we have names for the colors and the to set the background color we need colors not just the name of the color so we need to tell app inventor to transform this uh, what colors are these so we are going to use some conditions okay so remember the names that we have in the previous screen so we are going to check them so also we are going to use this but first let's see okay if so we are going to start with a condition here. So okay, we need this the second. Well, if the value in the task your color, okay, if the value, okay, so the name. It is equal to let's go to the previous screen just to make sure what are what the names are so for example i remember in designer i just uh, wrote the names let's go to the list paper ah yes pink yellow and gray okay so it's very simple so your color is equal to so we write the name for example so we have this text in the value of your color then we set the background color to this color that is pink and we do the same <coughs> for the other two colors so I'm going to do it very fast <coughs> so, well, so this is our, these are the conditions I'll see we change the gray, we change the color, and we do the same for the other one that is uh, yellow. So we change to yellow, <coughs> and we set the color. And we do the same for the yellow, the yellow color. Okay, um, I guess that's that's all. So, uh, well, and we have an else if we don't have anything that I think is 
this is not going to happen because we establish some conditions but in any case we are going to establish just a default value uh, in case the the your color tag is empty okay well i guess that's it okay. if we don't have any of these values well now we have to publish this okay because if not it, it won't work in companion so let's check it i installed it the app so and check i have to write here because i have disabled the the age the, the list picker and the, the next button until i finish i select a color for example here the gray and check i have the information i have the age i have the color now again so then punk age 23 and color pink and pass the values okay so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, thanks for watching this and I hope this uh, is useful for you. Thanks for watching, bye!